Hey guys, Wang Sel here. Today I'm playing EU4. And actually, this is right after the game I had, the terrible game I had with Kazan, or terrible game I had attempting to play Kazan. So, screw that. Screw you, Kazan. I'm not going to play with you anymore. I'm going to play Muscovy. Because, yeah, why the hell not, right? Since I am now on the other side. Four, five. Okay. I'll split this into two. Yeah, split in half, correct. Six go here, seven go here, and we will choose our rivals. Novgorod is an obvious rival. Kazan, uh, oh, Golden Horde is an obvious rival. Kazan is another obvious rival. If you're in it, I'll just leave alone for now. Novgorod, yes. And what's our first one? Form alliance with Ryazan. Why the hell not? Ryazan, you like us, I know. You want to ally us, yes you do. And this should be over very quickly. Uh, Tyver hates. Uh, we can. Uh, what's our? Yeah, we don't have any more slots. That's okay. Uh, fine. I'll fabricate a claim on you then. Tyver, sure. And we'll 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 kill you off as soon as we can. So we got the alliance, and let's go on sub. Let's go to subjugate Novgorod. I have played as Muscovy quite a number of times. And the important thing to know as Muscovy is that Novgorod is alone. A lot of the times, huh? Alone. So we want to go declare war against them as soon as we can. But of course I'll wait for my units to be built in 30 days. Before I can consider it. Sure. It doesn't, doesn't matter that much for us. It, it does give us a, a chance for heirs and all that nice things. Uh, but those aren't very high on my priorities right now. Okay, please don't get in alliance with any anyone else. Supporting the independence of Sweden, sure. So we declare war. Ooh, what would we want? Uh, Torzok. Let's go. We can. We can't feed anything. We can feed some of stuff to cycle. Off. So we won't have to core it. We won't have to spend so much admin points to core it. But we already have a claim on it, so I'm not sure. You know, we can give this to Perm. Let me see. Uh. I'm considering 60 Diplo Power. One, they have two, 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 six. So each one costs 10. 10 Diplo power, how much will it cost to core? 30. So this will cost either 20 Diplo power or 30, 30 admin power. It seems like giving them to our vessels might be better. Yeah. Total cost 30, base cost, base tax value 20. Uh, I see, I see how it's counted. So we'll give as much to our vessel because the amount that we get. Uh, I, I mean, unless we ha get this ideas, uh, get this core creation cost ideas, then this might be more worth it. Hmm. Actually, with this minus fifteen percent, I might want to go for the other. For the what's that? Uh? For this idea, minus twenty five. That would bring our total minus forty. So minus forty. So the cost. Like 20, 40, it will be 40 minus 40 percent. Minus 40. Okay, and say if we have a claim, right? Minus 65 percent. It'll be half of it. It'll be about 15. Yeah. Even 15 still can't compare to the 10 for the annexation. But we got to see whether it costs more during the, the peace process. So we'll, we'll gauge, we'll, we'll do a one for one trade on Diplo, t Diplo points for now. And we'll just go to war with Novgorod for, you know what, let's take Torzok for ourselves. Why won't you be called it? Okay. Uh, I do not want to lose any units. Yeah. Oh. yeah, do you do your thing? Yeah. Yeah. The attrition is crazy. What 
What is this bad luck, man? Our general just died, and it was a good general somehow. Uh, actually, our monarch is damn good, lah. <laughs> Don't die, can't really. Our monarch is good. His points are bad. Our vessel is. Trust our vessels to clear up the rest of the of the troops. So Golden War has declared war on Kazan. Uh, we don't have any claims on them. Let's let's fabricate the claims. Everything. Pesna. Yeah, Pesna we want for ourselves. So we yeah, we lost that, sure. Not broad has no chance la. Where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Go away. So he's going to go one whole round just to go for this. can still escape. Damn it. Seeding stuff. We've got to take note of our manpower, it's getting low. Take Pesna, take Udumutia. I won't take this for myself also. How's this war going? You know, in my games, why why can't I get an alliance with Timurids? Why are they able to get an alliance with Timurids? That's what I want to know. So it looks like going to war with Kazan is not looking very likely. You're going there? Then I'm going here. Okay, it looks like Sweden won an independence war. Hmm. Who are you at war with? Sweden and North Rock. Actually I should let them through. Uh. You know what? Let's give them a let's give them access. Uh. <laughs> they wanted military access but they didn't want it now because we rejected them.
fucking winter attrition. Crazy. I'll let my... Yeah, I'll let them take the rest. We are suffering, suffering way too much attrition. They should be able to take the rest of that one. Hold. Okay, uh, let's try to get a strong... Oh, well, we already have... We already full on Lancer, so let's improve relations with Perm. We probably want to annex them as soon as we can. Okay, I just want to see, uh, just for argument's sake, if I give this over to Psykov, and if I try to engage them in a peace deal, how much would it cost? It will cost me zero Diplo power. So I will give it to Psykov then. And I'll give this to Perm. This I'll take. Calm, do I want it? Take them. I think I can give this to Psykov as well. Psykov already has a claim on it. Sure. Yeah. Actually, I want to annex Yaroslav the earlier, so. Finnish nationalist about to rise. Okay. Okay, say I take this tree. Home to cycle off this 66. That's all. Give me more reparations and give me money. Of course, I need a few states for myself in case things get bad. Uh, yeah, you can destroy them there. We lost one stability for what? Uh, let's boost it back up. Ninety six only. Okay. Okay. Huh. So the war is actually dragging on for quite a bit. We have a bit of war exhaustion going on, but we have tons of money. I'll take as much as I can. In fact, I might go to war with Sweden next. Okay, like if I take Never for myself, I can fabricate a claim on Vibor, then go to war with Sweden, bring Novgorod in, and that'll be fun. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, take Never for myself. Why are you running away? Can I take this? No. I can take Karili for myself. Okay, let's take all that. 52, fine. We have a bit of unrest though. Why? Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, let's quickly fabricate a claim on Viborg. And since Psykov ha has a sea zone, so they can they probably can take like Nylon and Finland for their own. Yeah, this will be our first advance into those lands. 
Uh, in the meantime, I'll go to War of Tiber right now. Build this. Yeah, why why not, huh? And we have enough money that I wouldn't mind getting. Yeah, getting. Oh, that guy is great. Do I want diplo rep now? I want five five four. Yeah, I'll get this. Okay, I might consider getting a diplo power person. I don't need diplo power now. So Kazan is being wrecked. Wait, wait, okay. And they are still allied with the Timurid, so I'm not gonna go to war with them. I might. Ottomans. Ugh. And those will take some time. What's the state I want? I want this state, Osterbottom. What war? Are they in? Swedish War for Independence, minus 16. So they are losing the War for Independence. That's a bit scary. If we get into the war, right? There's a chance that... Yeah, no, it's not a chance. They, Denmark will definitely be against against us. Now we can get Tyra. Okay, Taiva is ours, and I want to improve relations with Yaroslav, and I want to take a look at Denmark, because if I go to war with Sweden right now, uh, Denmark will be involved in the war, because Sweden will most likely, oh, okay, this is okay, so I'm guessing this is all of their units, Norway, let's look at Norway, you know, let's be sure. We'll both be at our edge, uh, but I have more money so I can probably recruit some mercenaries if I need to fight against them. Yes, they are... Okay, we still have 1,000, okay. We'll, we'll declare war on Sweden as soon as we can. Uh, 9. Never at least can... Yeah, at least can have some. Oh, just walking there already have attrition. The fucking winter. <laughs> I'm having attrition in my own lands cause of stupid winter. Uh. Okay, we can go to war with Sweden. We need. We'll see if you can... Oh, shit. Sweden... Do we want to go to war with Sweden now? That's the question. Now Grod is allied with Scotland. Not that it matters. Allied with... Riga and the Teutonic Order. Still not at war with anyone, huh? You? Quite lucky. Never mind. We won't go to war with... Uh... Who is Denmark allied with? No one. But Denmark likes us. We were crap shoot la, we are pretty even now. We have more units, we have more vessels. Hmm. I should risk it, right? 
And say even if it turns out bad for us, it will just set us back a few years. Cause I don't think we'll lose what we'll lose to the point where we do we actually lose some, uh, we actually lose some states. Uh, I'll take Viborg. Declare war on Viborg. Uh, we can build two more. I think I will build two more. Okay. And they're still suffering attrition. Good. Lithuania don't want to deal with Lithuania right now. Take Viborg. Okay. Let's just hope this goes well. So did they take more? Still at three thousand. What about Denmark? Did Denmark take out loans? No, Denmark has no units left. What about Sweden? Sweden is the one we actually have to worry about. Sweden still have some units left, but Sweden has rebels. Yep, so it looks like it's a free few states against them. Uh, let's fabricate claims on on Livonian order. Yeah, sure. I know as Muscovy, you're supposed to expand towards Kazan first, but there's still a lot of Timurids. I don't want to deal with the hordes until we have a significant military advantage. They can actually overpower you at the start if you're not careful. And I... It looks, it looks like Kazan didn't lose the war. Hmm. Uzbek is full of shit now. <laughs> national decisions, advancement of religion act. Why would I want national unrest? Make core. Can't call this yet. Huh. Yeah, siege that. No, you're not sieging that. No, 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 you gotta siege it. Yay, so we got a war goal by Borg. Got that. There's no leader here. Why not? Did he die? Mustang. Hmm, okay. So we took over the siege. <laughs> Now they are at war with Poland. Okay, so we can go to war with the Lithuanian, with Lithuania next. Livonian order, but Lithuania. What the hell? Are you? Ah. But we are losing. Yeah, we are, we are losing units to attrition. So we actually. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to. We need to get both of these. Uh. I need to focus on military. <laughs> we need to get the next military tech. Like right now. This is terrible. This is attrition. Yes, I know you have eight. 
I don't care for that. Where is he going? Also, defend. They have a higher siege value, right? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get that quickly. Now, 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 now. Then I can piece out of this stupid wall. I really have no more manpower. Golden Horde. Lose 10 legitimacy. Gain 10. Ah, I can afford to lose the legitimacy. Come on, yes, got it. Okay, one more for more points. Come on. Yeah, join, join you over here. Yeah, okay, okay, we got. Okay, let's piece them out now. I know you want out of this war. Uh, I want this. You won't even give me this. You fucking kidding me? I only want one fucking state. What's so good about that state? That's a. Uh, it's so a one base tax state. You won't even give it to me. That means you won't even give this to me. You are kidding me. It's just one fucking base tax. Don't tell me uh you accept a peace offer. I think I'll just wait lah. I'll wait for the war score to move up. Uh they probably can't do anything. Yeah, this will give me more war score. So let's let's get rid of them. Must be the battles our vessels are losing. Uh. Yeah, the attrition, Cree killer attrition. Not interested in doing that. We we'll just wait. Hmm. What if I bought down my? That, what if I bought it down like that? Oh, okay. So that that in ah, so our military exhaustion is taken into account. Okay, this will not be, but uh, I can give this to whoever lah. Five ball. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to to Psychopa. Then don't have to worry about that. Oster bottom cost six. Savalax. There's gonna be another. You'll see how, how it plays out. I mean, it's not. This, yeah, will not cause us to lose. Uh, for us not being able to get Oster Bottom. Okay, 17. 7.9. Once they head up to 8, war exhaustion. Now they won't even give us this. So we gotta do. Uh, we gotta take apart some of their units. Can hire another general. Okay, a better general. Um, why can't I unpause the game? Ah, uh, in the meantime, I should improve relations with Yaroslav, right? Give ah, uh, just give me one. Maybe two months before you'll be able to give me. What I want.
they must be way in debt. Why is he going? Yeah, okay. Give me money then. Okay, we only took one state. That's fine. Uh, we are still calling this, so we can't call that. <laughs> That's okay. And I think I'll go to war with the Liv uh, Livonian Order, because I can. No diplomats to send. Uh, North Broad, our truce is still not yet over. So we'll go to war, in the next episode, we'll go to war with the Livonian Order, we'll probably annex them completely. Probably give Psyche of all of this, we'll probably take all of these for ourselves. Nawa, Reval, we'll take for ourselves, because we want some coastal provinces. Maybe also, if we can, can manage it. But getting Sweden, that little part there, it gives us a chance to expand further in, in moments of uh, Danish weakness. Denmark still likes us. Okay, sure. It will go to war with Kazan uh, so long as we have uh, a mil military tech advantage of maybe two or three techs ahead of them, which will happen because they are 175%. They require 175% to advance, we only require 120%? Yeah, 120%. Okay, uh, I really enjoyed this. This looks promising. Uh, I know I did make a few mistakes. We probably could have ended the war earlier and not lost so much. But I think it's a, it, all in all, it's still okay. We'll definitely annex Novgorod. Maybe give a few more states to Perm and whatnot. Might take, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. Okay, that's seven. Two. One. One. We'll be. We. We will be able to annex them fully. Yeah, the base tax is way too low. We can annex them fully. Hundred percent. I think so. We'll annex Yaroslav, our vessel. Uh, we'll get. We'll annex Psychov first. Then we will go to war with Lithuania. But they're already under personal union. Okay. Okay, yeah, I enjoyed playing uh, this. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you do, please press the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions, uh, just leave a comment uh, on the channel page or even in the video page. Yeah, it's been fun. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.